Fruity, 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 fruity. Greetings, my lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Fruity Fruits. Today, I will be tasting this. This gorgeous, gorgeous, very unusual looking fruit is called a Buddha's hand. It is a citron, which is a member of the citrus family. But what's interesting about this is it doesn't really have like a juicy center or any kind of like fleshy bits in the middle or much juice at all for that matter. This is mostly pith and skin. And it is so fragrant. I wish you <laughs> could smell this. It smells like a lemon, but a little bit sweeter, a little bit like a, kind of like a grapefruit, but it's just so lovely and bright and zingy. And just can't get enough of it. It's actually, to me, kind of similar in fragrance to a yuzu, which is a citrus that's yellow as well that you can find in Japan. It's round in shape though, nothing like this, and much smaller. This Buddha hand is quite large. It's about the size of my hand. So this is native of Asia, and it is coveted for its beautiful shape that is reminiscent of Buddha's hand. Apparently what is more coveted though in terms of shape is the closed version. So when the fingers are more closed, that is the kind of preferred shape. But this is gorgeous. This is an amazing, each one of these little fingers. And it feels just like a lemon. It's got kind of that waxy, leathery, thick, tough skin. So the first time I saw one of these actually growing on a tree was last year, actually last November. My family and I went back to go see my family in Southern California and we went out to Riverside and visited this beautiful historic orange grove and I saw one of these growing and it's incredible. And then I came back trying to find one. It was too late in the season. So these are very seasonal. These grow about this time of year, which is November. I found this at my Whole Foods and this cost about $5. Because this is mostly pith and skin, which is very aromatic and doesn't really contain any juice, the most common practice of using this is to candy it or to infuse things like vodka or to make something like limoncello. Today I'm going to taste it and then I'm going to make a little recipe. I'm going to try candying it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half so you guys can see what it looks like in the middle. Look at that. So there's really no kind of juicy interior or anything for that matter. It's all this kind of white pith. But it smells so lovely. It's just happy. It instantly just makes me happy. Oh, it smells so good. It's very similar to a lemon, but a little more sweet and floral. One finger off here and then slice a little bit. So this seems really counterintuitive in terms of eating citrus fruit. We're always trying to peel the skin off of citrus, but in this case, it's all pith and skin. So it's kind of strange, right? But here we go, tadaki Mmm, mmm, And in some respects, it is really strange. As you could hear, it has a very crunchy, firm texture to it, just like a lemon peel would. But it is not at all bitter. So it's not like orange peel where you get that kind of bitter orange flavor, not bitter at all. In fact, it's just slightly sweet. It kind of reminds me of when you eat like a kumquat and you're like, oh, I shouldn't be eating this skin, just in terms of the psychological experience you're having. Like, I'm not supposed to eat the skin, <laughs> but it's actually very delightful. Unlike a kumquat that has a very tart skin, this isn't tart at all. It's actually a tiny bit sweet, but it is so fragrant. It is just full of these beautiful citrus oils that are just so lovely. Mm. So this whole candy making process takes about 24 hours, including the drying time. So I'm going to make it and then I will see you and taste it tomorrow. So I found this recipe from allrecipes.com from good old Chef John. If you don't know Chef John, let me just cue the music. <laughs> I'll put the recipe link down below. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut this up into small pieces and then we're going to boil it for about 30 minutes. So first things first, we're gonna chop this up into little bite-sized pieces. And then we're gonna add it to some boiling water and allow this to boil for 30 minutes or until the flesh is nice and tender. Then we're gonna drain it and then we're gonna add two and a half cups of granulated sugar and two cups of water. Mix this together, allow this to simmer until the syrup comes to 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius. Then we're gonna remove it from the heat, drain the syrup, 
save this precious syrup. So now we're gonna take the drained candy fruit and spread it onto a rack and allow it to dry. After it's dried for 24 hours, we're gonna to toss it in the remaining half cup of sugar. Get everything well coated and allow it to dry for a couple more hours until it's nice and crystallized and candy-like on the outside. All right, lovelies, I'm back. It's been a couple days and here is my finished candied Buddha's hand. And it turned out beautifully. Here, let me pour some out for you. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? And as you heard as I poured these out, the sugar has hardened. So they've got a bit of a harder texture on the outside, but they're still squishy in the middle. Kind of like a natural gumdrop. And they smell wonderful. So let's give our candies a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Mmm. And that's really, really nice. The outside is very similar to a gumdrop. It's sugary, it has the crunch of granulated sugar, and it kind of gives, and the inside is much softer. It's not quite as chewy as a gumdrop, but still kind of gelled. And you bite into it, and it has this intense citron flavor, which is just slightly bitter, which goes really well with the amount of sugar in this. This is very sweet, but the middle of the candy is the fruit which has that bitterness and the lovely citrusy kind of lemony flavor to it. It's very, very nice. I feel like the sugar is very well balanced with the natural flavor of the citron. Mmm, mmm. Now that piece had a little bit more rind to it than just the pith. The first one that I tasted was one of these ones. These are a bit lighter in color and these are the pithier parts. They're the parts that are completely white in the inside of the Buddha's hand. And this one has a little bit of darkness to it, kind of like this one or this. And this contains more of the rind or the yellow part of the Buddha's hand. And that has a completely different flavor. Hmm. I shouldn't say completely different. It still tastes like the delicious citron Buddha's hand but it's more intense. And I think that has something to do with the fact that this has more rind, which contains most of the essential oils. So it's a little bit more bitter, but has much more of a fragrance and flavor to it. Really nice. I like that there's a little bit more variety in the flavors. Also, the pieces that contain more of the zest are also a little bit chewier in texture, not as kind of gelled as the pith parts. Very, very sophisticated flavors in terms of just sweetness, bitterness, and just aroma. I think this would be perfect for the holidays. This would be great in a fruit cake or even just baked into muffins. And I think it'd be great in a cocktail too, if you made some sort of cosmopolitan or some kind of vodka-based drink, a little bit of this, and a little bit of the syrup. This is the syrup I actually reserved from the candy making process. And it actually has kind of crystallized, but it's full of the citron flavor. Let me give it a little taste. Mm. much sweeter very very sweet because this is all sugar but it does have a nice citron essence to it and again you get a little bit of that bitterness as well it reminds me a little bit of bitters that you might put in aperitif of course completely different flavor but a little bit of bitter and i think this would be great in a cocktail or even just a little bit of plain fizzy water or I think it would be fabulous as a tea. I did a video way, way back in one of my thirsty videos where I had yuja cha, which is a Korean yuzu-based drink. And it looks like marmalade, but it's made out of yuzu. So you take a scoop of that yuzu-based marmalade and you add some hot water to it, stir it up, and you have a lovely aromatic citrus tea. So I think that's what I'm gonna use this for. So there you have it, a little Buddha's hand or a citron taste test. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this fruit before, if you've ever had it before, or if you have any other uses or applications for it. I'm all ears. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, and I shall see you in my next one. Tulu. Take care. Bye! Fruity, 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 fruity. It smells so good. Oh, it's good for my skin and my nose and my paws.